Hi, we are Hamilton Grammar School and with us today we have six pupils who have been coming along and representing uh, the school at the, our lunchtime club, plus one of our senior helpers. Um, out of the dozens and dozens of pupils that have actually used the EV3 resources, and these guys are all in our first and second year in Hamilton Grammar School. In order to prepare the guys for today, we've been running a lunchtime club um, that's been meeting more and more often as we've drawn near to the competition time. But in order to support them, we've really just got them to work through the amazing resources that have came with the EV3 software. They've been really, really great. Um, it's been very challenging for us as staff as well to get used to using the resources, but it's been a great challenge and something that's really brought the guys in the club and the teachers together to work as part of a, a, a really good team. Um, in school, Who's been using their EV3 software? Well, all year groups have an opportunity to use it. I have used it with my first year class, third year class and my senior classes and they've all absolutely loved it. Um, again, just using the EV3 lessons and um, once I was a bit more confident using the software I was able to come up with uh, some different lesson ideas, different challenges as well. Um, as I've mentioned before, how else have we been using it? We've had a robotics club which has been running at lunch times and some afternoons after school when we've had the time in order to get the guys fully prepared to, for today as possible. And also we've had a STEM challenge day which my colleague Harry who is with you today will to tell you more about who organised a full day's um, timetable for first year classes to come along in which Every first year was given some varying degrees of uh, science challenges and the ICT department used their Lego software and Lego um, to come up with a challenging day for the pupils in their department for that. Uh, some of the key achievements for myself, um, I think, was, well, first of all, when the pupils finally completed the last challenge and they're all high-fiving around about daft, it was really good to see them finally achieve it, but I think as well as that, I've just seen them working together when we combined two of the uh, space challenge tasks into one, and we split the team up into smaller groups and got them to work in quite complex programming things, um, like um, modularity and how teams work as a, as, a, as, a, as a group really on larger projects. Um, and the, the senior classes as well, we used it with them, they absolutely loved it, it's, it's such a good tool, uh, I'm really glad we won it. Um, some of the, the perceptions you can see changing is particularly with the first year girls class that I have, and that they, they're seeing first hand how programming can be different, rather than learning about programming by typing in programs, they're actually seeing their programs achieve and do something. and and getting it a bit more hands-on. So it's been good to see um, the perceptions change and pupils seeing that it's actually quite cool, the things we do in IT, as well as the stealth learning that's going on, the important things like loops and variables and so on, that's, that's really important for our curriculum in the later years. Um, in terms of behaviour, uh, I've seen noticeable changes in it. I think just the kind of attitude towards programming robotics and maybe engineering slightly changed from some of the younger year groups, especially those that are maybe not too sure about what it is. And throughout the kind of time since we've had the robotics, the club's really grown in size and stature and uh, the pupils have become more and more motivated to come along, even though the challenges they're actually facing are much, much, much more difficult. And as well as that, as my own perceptions have changed, I think it would be quite difficult to build it into the classroom curriculum, but really it's been very easy just because of the standard of the resources that LEGO has provided. We've got huge plans for expanding um, what we're already doing in school and we're really looking forward to next year. We've just recently registered for the first LEGO League, so that's going to be great. We have a partnership school in China um, that we're really looking forward to further developing the challenges we've been working on with them. Um, our STEM day was very successful and we want to expand on that. As a high school, we have many link primary schools who would really like to liaise with a bit more, maybe take out the EV3 software and the, the robots into our primary seven classes to work with our younger years. And as well as that, expanding the work we've put in this year to get actually build the lessons into the course that we deliver as a whole. 
Um, so thanks very much for listening. Thanks for your time. Apologies for not being able to make it along today, but I'm sure my colleagues can answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.